Dear brothers and sisters, men and women of God, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to greet in the name of Jesus, the Christ, Son of the living God, Shalom. This is the season of election in the land of Nepal. In the same time, election is running in the United, United States of America. Let me share some of the things from the Bible. Bible is the word of God. Book of Hebrew 4 12 says, The word of God is living and active like a double edged sword, sharper, sharper than the double edged sword. In the history, 1100 to 1400 AD, this verse has been used for a ruler and for the priest. Sometimes ruler take over and uh, priests were uh, even they were chased from the nation. Sometimes priests were doing same to the ruler. Why I am connecting this history is Bible is control of the history from the beginning till the end. Bible says I am the Alpha and the Omega, first and the last beginning and the end. Book of Revelation 22, 7 to 11, 13 says that. And if something has already been begun, one day or other, sooner or later, will be completed also. Gospel has been begun from the very base or foundation of the earth or world is called Israel. The nation of Israel is near to the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, geographically, it is very small nation, but the whole world is blessed from the Israel. Nepal is seven times more greater than Israel, but the whole world is still blessed by Israel. I am now connecting the history of Israel. Two thousand years before, Jesus the Christ, Son of the living God, the Savior of the universe, came into this universe is Israel. The nation of Israel is blessed because of the Savior is born. Bethlehem, the name itself is the meaning Bethlehem is the house of the bread. John 6, 35 says, I am the living bread. I am from the heaven. I came down from heaven and I am the living bread. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus the Christ Son of living God became the living bread for the whole world. Now I would like to connect the history. If you and me we are testing Jesus as a living bread, then you and me or we should live as a living being, as an intellectual being. Spiritually, physically, mentally, socially, rationally, economically, even politically, also we need to change according to His word. Deuteronomy 28 14 says, If you believe in me and obey my commandment, I will make you head not a tail, I will keep you on the top, not at the bottom. Geographically, the nation of Nepal is the top of the world. 8,848.86 km height is the measurement of the Mount Everest. We are from the nation of Mount Everest. But the whole world is now ruling by the nation of United States of America because they believe in Christ Jesus and they obeyed the commandment of Jesus and now God has made them head because Deuteronomy 28, 13 is being fulfilled in the land of United Nations of America. Once upon a time Great Britain Blythe was ruling all world and until now that Britain does not have constitution because they made the constitution upon the Ten Commandments. There are many nations, they have already made the constitution that, but the nation of Great Britain, United Kingdom is having their constitution upon the Ten Commandments. 
Now I would like to relate the story from the history. 200 years back, the nation of Nepal, the nation of United States of America is united, firm, and they believe in truth. There are six armor in the book of Ephesians 6, 10 to uh, 18 we found there. First armor is the belt of the truth. Second is breastplate of the righteousness. Third is the shoes of the harmony of the gospel. And the fourth, the hel helmet of the salvation. And the fifth, the faith, which is sealed, sealed of the faith. And fifth one, is, uh, the sixth is we can use for enemy. Five are defensive and six, number six is offensive armor, weapons, spiritually. And now I would like to connect the story from other, other places. Book of Colossians 4, 3 and 4 says that law unite the people and it's make unity. Book of Psalm number 133 says, Brothers and sisters, those who are in Christ, they are to be united in love. It is better to be united in His love. In a unity there is power, but you know, there are many diversity in the whole universe, in the whole nations of the world. But Jesus is saying, unity, where there is unity, there is power. We should believe in Him and we obey His commandment, then He will make us head, not a tail. The seventh armor is the harmony. Front side, we already received the uh, armor of the God. It has already been given from the book of Ephesians. The back side is still empty. So, dear brothers and sisters, we need to be uh, uh, united with each other. The believer, the person who is believing in Christ, spiritually this is necessary to unite and to fight with the enemy. In a physical way also same. If we, we have a unity with the one nation, with other nation, there will not have any single battle. We are in the battle of the ages. There are battle in each and every single ages. Even from the, from the time of Lucifer, battle has been begun from the heaven. Lucifer wanted to make his throne just same like God's throne. He wanted to make little higher. But when he thought that in the same day he was chased from the heaven and now he is just roaming here and there and polluting the creation of God. Dear brothers and sisters, now spiritually and physically also there are battle. All war first was taken place in AD 1914 to 1918. Almost after 20 years back again, 1939 to 1949, Second World War took place. Many people are having fear or getting afraid of the Third World War. Many people are thinking and uh, they are operating. If Third World War comes, then many things will be devastated. Many things will be destroyed. Many people will be killed. Wealth and everything will be lost. Ukraine and the Russia, I would like to give an example. If Donald Trump is still in the power and ruling the nation of United States of America, means many people came second time to the power of the United Nations, but Trump administration was not able to come in the second time because some of the things happened unseenly but by the evil force something happened and he was not able to rejoin the administration. If he is ruling the nation of United Nations of America now, this Russia and Ukraine could not have fight because he could manage very well the fight could not be there. The battle shouldn't be there. For an example, after 
after almost 30 years, th three decades later, Trump administration had a, had a meeting with Kim Jong Un two times in a Singapore. And I guess, not only guess, I believe if he is still in the power of uh, United Nations, this uh, Ukraine and uh, the um, Russia could have a harmony with each other because God has given Trump that kind of ability to make harmony with each other nation after nation. In his time, he said three things is, three things are, in God we trust. Again and again, he proclaimed the same word until now, the dollar has also same word, in God we trust. Second word, in, in America we would like to always worship God, not the government. We worship God in America, not the government. government. The third word is, in White House, once again, I would like to bring the presence of God. In White House, I would like to bring or I would like to see the presence of God. Like Psalm 27, 4 says, David says that, I always would like to see the presence of God in his temple. One thing I ask of the Lord, that is, how, that is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord and I may see his face and seek his presence. See, same thing declared he, uh, when he was in the position and no single nation could come to have an enemy with each other. Enemy nation became very friend. Why I am declaring this message from the nation of Nepal is now this is the season of election. Even in the state election is taking place 2022 November 8 is going to be elected the person. I would like to encourage you all and in Nepal also after two weeks the election is going to come. We should choose the person, right person, God's fearing person, one who loves God, one who obey the commandment of God. We should choose that kind of person. In the same time from the right place, right person, those who are having right mandate, and right decision in the right time also. If we are losing to have a decision uh, in a right way, again we, we must we we will be back for four years or five years. In a statement four years, in Nepal five years later uh, uh, the next election will come. My point and my encouragement to you all is those who are going to be elected, they must be lover of God. They, uh, they should follow the commandment of God Almighty. In the same way, those who are not still following and obeying His commandment also, they will be able to follow God. Because of that only, God will give His hand upon them. First Chronicle, First Chronicle 14 says, Lord, enlarge the territory of each and every single individual. Uh, and Jabez was praying over there and now I would like to pray according to this verse. Lord, enlarge the territory of each and every single individual. That territory may be spiritual, the territory physical, social, rational, economical, even the political. And, and your hand placed upon them, those who are going to uh, be elected and uh, rule the nations. So that harm may come but that harm Full thing will not uh, effect or affect. According to the Deuteronomy 111, may God increase their blessing thousandfold more. Exodus 26 says, Those who believe in me and obey my commandment, I will bless their thousand generation more. Isaiah 40, Isaiah 60, 22 says, I will increase the number thousand more. Psalm number 144, 13 says that number will be increased hundreds of the thousand more. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the thing that I would like to proclaim <coughs> this very, very right time. This is the season of election everywhere in Nepal and in United States of America. May God bless you all together and may God be glorified through your each and every single deed 
that you are doing on this planet Earth according to the first chronic first Corinthian 10 31 says whether you drink or eat or do anything let his name be glorified we should not forget the God's glory and together we can glorify his name according to the Psalm number 115 one says it is not our not us but your name always be glorified in and through you and me that is my prayer and humble prayer to our god almighty for you all in jesus name amen shalom